टूडेज वीडियो इज ऑन चंद्र मंगल योगा प्राइवली फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम डूइंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स विद अ प्लानिंग दैट टूडे इज मंडे एंड टूडे आई शुड मेक अ वीडियो ऑन चंद्र एन ऑल बट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम आई डोंट डू लाइक दैट एंड विच एवर थिंग कम्स टू माई माइंड इमिडिएटली आई मेक वन वीडियो सो चंद्र मंगल योगा कैन दैट इज अ कंजंक्शन ऑफ चंद्र एंड मंगल ओके चंद्र एंड मंगल सिटिंग इन द सेम हाउस दैट कैन बी वन काइंड ऑफ चंद्र मंगल योगा अनादर थिंग इज चंद्र एंड मंगल इज सिटिंग इन कोन फ्रॉम ईच अदर वन फाइव नाइन फ्रॉम ईच अदर आइदर से चंद्र इज इन एरीज देन इन लियो मंगल इज देर दिस वे सो चंद्र मंगल योगा कैन मेक यू वेरी very much aggressive in business you can say but you can, it can make you very much aggressive to, towards women also so chandra mangal yoga can be negative and positive as well as both so chandra mangal yoga can be your mother beats you a lot that can be chandra mangal yoga chandra mangal yoga can be you dominates your mother a lot and you make your mother do too much work which is which she is unable of doing pressurize her creating situations so that your mother has to do too much for you what other people's parents are not doing so chandra mangal yoga can be positive negative in both uh, both can be there for example chandra and mangal together in um, together in gemini okay moon in gemini moon in gemini uh is having some kind of inflections i don't know whether all of you know or not moon in gemini can be very friendly but it is over friendly can have uh, multiple affairs and all uh although in gemini there are three planets but moon in gemini is having tendency of making friendship without thinking which is not a wise one mars in gemini they talk too much and uh, while speaking they can be aggressive while speaking they can humiliate someone while speaking when mars is in gemini because mars is a sorry gemini is a house of mercury or speech and education so if moon and mars is in gemini it can be very aggressive while speaking to women or in general very aggressive only mars is there in gemini you are in general while speaking to someone you are very aggressive in general um, you are studying because mercury is study also you are studying in a very um, in a course which is very which needs a lot of courage means it can be like i know one person who is having mars in gemini and that person is uh, working studying and working with wild animals okay so mars in gemini can be very uh not studying in such kind of a subject but very aggressive while speaking now when moon and mars both are in gemini uh, and third thing is uh moon in gemini can be there are three different nakshatras i'm not discussing about all those three nakshatras but moon in gemini in general can be having many friends they are addicted to friends many friends they are having but Mm, it might be possible that you made friendship without thinking, and many of the friends are not good, and you earn a bad name for your friends having keeping bad friends and all. And it might be possible that you are not bad yourself, but because how are you? It depends if some percentage for moon, some percentage on your ascendant, ascendant lord also. Okay, uh, even ascendant lord dispositor also or moon dispositor also. So. Uh, moon in gemini can have many multiple friends of much below of the standard than your own standard and you might be very good in many things but you are you are earning bad name because your friends are of that category only okay then the chandra and mangal both are there chandra mangal yoga can be positive it can be negative one small negative thing i told that the mother can be mother or mother figure mother nani uh, dadi the grandparents or uh, the aunts are beating you a lot or the lady teachers 
are beating you a lot humiliating you or you grew up to be very aggressive i have seen uh, mars with moon with saturn okay so a small child beating her mother can you imagine uh, whatever she has in her home in her hand she is throwing that it can be uh, iron or stone paper weight she is throwing towards her mother it is mars and moon with saturn in the house of leo i think so in leo mars is a friendly house leo is a friendly house for mars leo is good for moon also but saturn for saturn leo is not at all good it is very uh, negative for saturn leo is a negative placement for saturn although it can be used in positive way also like uh, official some official job kind of a thing official um, job of secretary kind of thing okay now <coughs> moon and mars in leo can be this uh, this kind of aggressive although with saturn and mars in um leo is a friendly in a friendly house but even in friendly house for kalpurush kundli you will see that mars is what mars is eighth lord okay so mars is eighth lord being eighth lord sitting in fifth it is not that good it can be devastating for your studies it can be devastating for your boyfriend girlfriend it can be devastating for your kids and so many things so mars moon in leo i told you mars moon in uh, gemini also i told you now mars uh, the negative results also i told you can be aggressive towards women while speaking if it is in gemini and you can be physically aggressive also if with mars and moon some other negative planets are also there uh, because um, uh, sorry and uh, if mars and moon both are in very good position where, which is not possible if they are sitting together but among mars and moon at least one is good like mars is exalted in capricorn mars and moon is sitting together so mars is exalted here now in uh, cancer mars and moon sitting together here mars is debilitated so in cancer mars and moon sitting together although it's niej bhang because moon is in uh, is in its own house but mars is debilitated in cancer debilitated mars can give you many surgeries failed surgeries many failed relationship with men many failed transaction in the case of uh, like uh, um, land related issues and all but mars moon conjunction with debilitated mars can be very bad like uh, you are doing vindictive things towards women women of your mother's age you can torture your mother a lot you can torture uh, your women friend or your aunt or grandparents or whatever it can be like that okay now mars and moon where uh, mars is exalted in capricorn and moon is in cancer and this is seventh place to each other looking at each other it can be a fair trade a very good in trade like mars in mars exalted in um, say dhanishtha okay it is construction related also work can be there and you are uh, a good builder a good engineer and you make houses with uh, water bodies in them houses with lake houses with uh, um water fountain houses near water and you you are very successful in that and uh, not unfair not being unfair because both mars and moon moon is it in its own house and mars is exalted so you are not earning by unfair means but if moon is debilitated in uh, scorpio with my, uh, mars mars in is in its own house mars is strong but moon is debilitated so you might be doing some wrong thing with women okay cheating women doing any kind of cheating to women you are having affair and uh, secret affair because uh, scorpio is a house of secrecy so everything the all result depend on other good and bad planets also but in general uh, mars is in scorpio some astrologers say that mars in scorpio although uh, it is swakhetri but it is not good 
because Scorpio is a hidden sign. If you are in spiritual practices, astrology, healing, all these kind of thing, or you are a surgeon, there is a fair chance that Mars in its own house in Scorpio with Moon debilitated, you are a surgeon. Quite possible. Successful surgeon also possible. But moon debilitated here then even being a good astrologer or healer or surgeon you might use some women at a workplace or as clients or whatever you are taking um, you are taking some help from women and uh, they are also doing it for you because you are in that position but you are neither giving them recognition nor remuneration to them so mars and moon uh, like if both are good and looking at each other like uh, Cancer and Capricorn kind of con co combination is very good it was in Ram Chandra's uh, Sri Ram Chandra's uh, horoscope mm, uh, Moon and Jupiter in Ascendant Cancer in Punar Vasu both of them and Mars is in Capricorn so Moon can be exalted in Taurus and Mars Vakhetri in Scorpio then it is good because Moon is exalted and Mars is Swaketri. So you might be doing some business of underground thing that is mining kind of thing or stones, uh, selling stones for jewelry or selling jewelry with stone. It can be crystal stone, anything. Uh, it is expected to be in fair means because both Mars and Moon both are in uh, good stamina, good strength. Okay. Now. Um, Mars exalted, Moon exalted, both I have spoken. Yes, everything depend on Mars is which Lord and Moon is which Lord. That also depends. In general, it is good in Mars and Moon conjunction. These work better in one minute. Second, ninth, tenth, and eleventh houses. Uh, Mars and Moon, Mars Moon, Chandra Mangal Yoga works best but be very careful if you see Chandra Mangal Yoga in someone's horoscope and either Chandra or Mangal is uh, Swaketri or exalted then the result can be good the person, person is emotionally very strong very competitive uh, mother is very helping very dedicated to mother and uh, helping each other a lot to grow and all those things and that person will grow in some fair means but if in Chandra Mangal Yoga or Chandra and Mangal uh, in a trine to each other also, th there can be different trines and different uh, houses where they are sitting together. And if the house is uh, debilitation of any one planet or uh, if not debilitation even in a very unfriend unfriendly house and all these things, sorry, unfriendly sign and all these things, then Chandra Mangal Yoga can be very... Um, degenerative de uh, derogative for women if uh, some women is having chandra mangal yoga that women in a wrong house in a wrong sign i already described many then that uh, women can use other women for own benefit and then later throw them exactly same is true for men also so in chandra mangal yoga you have to always observe which house is it second nine ten eleven house or you have to see which sign it is and uh, friendly sign mars is exalted moon is exalted or Swakitri, whatever uh, then by fair means it can earn a good length of things but if in poor houses or in poor um, sign both of them are weak then they are very negative for women these people whether they are women themselves or men themselves they use other women and they can destroy life of other women also okay bye have a nice time